Firearms are now one of the leading causes of death in America, and sadly, animals aren't immune to gun violence either. Most victims die from rapid blood loss, so why isn't everyone talking about this magical syringe that can stop bleeding in just 15 seconds? It's called the X-Stat and works in a way you'd never expect. But to understand why X-Stat matters, you must first understand how bleeding works. When a blood vessel is torn, the body's natural clotting system immediately gets to work. Platelets rush to the site, clotting factors activate, and fibrin strands weave a mesh to plug the hole. But if the vessel is large or the bleeding is under high pressure, this natural the natural system can't keep up because the plug keeps getting washed away. Arterial bleeding can be especially terrifying to witness because with each heartbeat, bright red blood spurts out impulses. Victims can become very dizzy, weak, or even unconscious in seconds. If no one intervenes immediately, they can die before professional help even arrives. But traditional hemorrhage control is messy, difficult, and often too slow. Like packing a wound with gauze can take several minutes, and it requires some training to do properly. You have to reach deep into the wound with your fingers, pushing the fabric directly onto the bleeding vessel. Even then, gauze often fails in narrow or deep tracts. Tourniquets are life-saving, but they only work on things like arms and legs. The US military has often seen this problem play out in combat. The injuries were often junctional wounds, in places where a tourniquet simply can't be applied. Civilian and veterinary medicine often faces the same issue. Mass shootings, stabbings, car accidents, workplace injuries, and even animal attacks can all produce these kinds of wounds. XStat solves a very specific but very deadly gap. It works in places where nothing else works properly, and it can be used by people who aren't highly trained medics or vets. Sure, it doesn't look like much, just a long syringe-like applicator with a wide tip. But inside is the real innovation. It injects dozens of these tiny expandable sponges deep into the wound. And by absorbing all the blood in the wound, these sponges instantly expand to 10 times their size in under 20 seconds, applying direct pressure on bleeding vessels from the inside out. Importantly, the x that only takes seconds to apply, and the applicator is so intuitive that almost anyone can learn how to use it. Just open the pouch and remove the applicator, push the tip as deep into the wound as possible, then push the plunger to deploy the mini sponges, which will instantly expand in the wound as they soak up blood. Once there is too much resistance to push out more sponges, pull the applicator out a little to make room to push out more sponges. If needed, repeat with additional applicators until the cavity is fully packed. And that's it, in less than 15 seconds, the cavity is filled with expanding sponges that apply uniform pressure against torn vessels. This tamponade effect slows down bleeding, giving the body's natural clotting system time to catch up. Once the sponges are crammed in, cover the wound with a pressure dressing or bandage and get the patient to the hospital as soon as possible. Because Extat is only a temporary fix. It is designed to keep someone alive for up to four hours, which is usually long enough to reach an operating room where surgeons can try to repair the damage. Each sponge also contains a radiopaque marker, which is just a tiny thread in the sponge that shows up on x-ray. This helps surgeons locate and remove the sponges during surgery, making sure none get left behind and become a source of infection. Sadly, x does have its limitations. It should never be used for wounds in the chest, abdomen, pelvis, head, or neck, as the sponges can interfere with organs or airways, and obviously never use it for superficial wounds. Also, while it's a compelling idea that x that will someday be widely used in veterinary trauma care. So far, I have found no documented evidence of vets using it in any real cases. Why isn't it already in every ambulance, every first aid kit, and every vet hospital? Well, it's complicated. Extat isn't cheap compared to gauze or tourniquets, and each applicator is a single-use device. A full adoption across civilian and vet emergency systems will require significant investment. Second, awareness. Many outside of military medicine simply don't know it exists. I myself only recently found out about it. Tourniquets and gauze are familiar names. Extat still feels exotic, but I suspect the biggest reason is inertia. Medicine is conservative by nature. New tools often take years, even decades, to move from battlefield innovation studies on lab animals to standard of care. No, XTAT doesn't stop bullets, it doesn't repair vessels or cure trauma, and it doesn't solve the deeper crisis of violence around the world. But until we can make the world a safer place, XTAT can buy time for those affected.